Someone just ripped a big one in a crowded room and everyone's looking around for the culprit. Surely no one wants to take the blame for such a powerful toot. But today, we're on the case. Let's find out who originally cut the cheese. There are two types of people in the world. Those who fart and liars. Farts have been around since the dawn of time, and it's one of the few things that all humans and animals alike have in common. There are also many, many euphemisms for passing gas, such as break wind, foghorn, playing the tuba, let the beans out, methane mating call, and of course, cut the cheese. Unlike the art of fart, the phrase cut the cheese hasn't been around for that long, relatively speaking. Since the late 1800s, the word cut was used in various phrases to mean pass gas. Although the introduction of cheese is unclear, here is an example from the definitive fart book from 1961. How formal. But why did the phrase transition to cheese? Depending on the types of cheeses that you eat, you may have noticed that not every variety smells fresh, floral, or sweet. Some smell more funky or sour, and others have a reputation for their pungent fumes. Many of which have a rind, or tough outer skin, to keep the odor inside. However, once the cheese is sliced and the rind is pierced, the smell is released and the natural cheesy stench can freely flow through any open nostrils. <laughs> Just like a fart, 